Getting into NeoVim's configuration ecosystem is notoriously difficult. With so many plugins, package managers, guides and even complete distributions out there, it can literally take weeks for someone without a configuration to arrive at a usable solution. But fear not, because if you happen to know a little bit about Nix, you can make use of the amazing distribution called NixVim. Unlike anything that we usually call a NeoVim distribution, NixVim comes bare bones, looking exactly the same as a regular unconfigured NeoVim. The only difference is, it's super simple to configure, only taking a couple of lines to enable most popular plugins, install and configure LSP servers, and set options or color schemes without having to do any GitHub plugin hunting. And the fastest way to begin using NixVim is to run this command in an empty directory. It will initialize an example NixVim configuration, with plague.nix responsible for fetching all dependencies, and files in config being the configuration itself. Try it out immediately simply by running nixrun in the flake directory. It doesn't include much at the moment, so let's add some options. Open the official documentation page which you can find in the link in the description, and there you will see a list of all options and plugins provided by default. Let's start with the most important one and set a color scheme. NixVim is very smart, so other plugins will automatically adapt to it with no extra steps required. I enabled Lua line and bufferline.nvim was included in template configuration by default. If we try to run nixrun again, we will see that both of them adapt to Groovebox automatically. Now let's say that we want to get some real work done ASAP and get the configuration out of the way in just a couple of seconds. In that case, we can quickly enable and install our required language server with just one line, enable completion for LSP and some other sources while we're at it, and also set some key bindings by copy-pasting this chunk of code from the documentation. Try it out with a file written in your favorite language with this command, and just like that, we have an easy-to-maintain working setup with fancy completion and error checking. We can improve it even further by including some more popular plugins like Telescope, Oil.nvim, and Treesitter, with each one of them having their own special options. Not just plugins, NixVim also allows you to easily set options and globals with corresponding attribute sets, assign keymaps by adding them to keymaps list, declaratively define auto commands, and even set highlight groups, making tweaking your NixVim configuration just as easy as Home Manager or NixOS ones. All of that is great, but what if you find some of your favorite plugins to be missing from NixVim options? Fortunately for you, NixVim allows you to add plugins simply by adding them to the extra plugins list, where you can even configure them straight away by using this plugin and config structure. We explored packaging NeoVim plugins for Nix in more detail in the previous Nix and NeoVim video, which you can find in the link in the description. Basic configuration aside, one of the biggest advantages of using Nixwin for me is that your configuration can be easily uploaded to GitHub and run on any other computer with Nix without polluting local environment. Local NeoVim configuration will be ignored this way, meaning that theoretically, multiple developers could connect to the same server with SSH and have their own development environments available to them simultaneously. Talking about local NeoVim configurations, NixVim also provides modules for NixOS, Home Manager, and NixDarwin, allowing you to install and configure NixVim system-wise as a part of one of these three configs. In the end, NixVim is a niche distribution of a niche text editor, so just like NixOS itself, it's a weird novelty for some and absolute gold for others. I absolutely love it, and the way it handles LSPs is genuinely so much better than the alternatives. And so now, I would like to thank Gaten LePage, maintainer of NixVim for helping me out with some parts of this video, and of course the sponsors of this video, specifically Hoskins, P-Easy, Not A Nut, Uni, Xavier, whom I accidentally put in the recent donations in the previous video, so I apologize, Albert C, Stefan Schroeder, Meji00, Lasselus, 0x Mouseless, Mathis, Thomas Brown, Henning Krause, Cameron, Jaimo, Syvert, Avoid Rose, Yeho Friend, Uncle Simon, Master How to Learn, Oakley Cord, and also the people who supported the channel previously. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.